Apple just released the second beta of iOS 18.4. Here is everything new. Before we get too far deep into this, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, consider hitting that subscribe button. The update, which weighed in at 1.34 gigs on my iPhone 16 Pro, comes less than two weeks after its initial developer release. Build number is 22E5216H. As many of you know, as we get closer to the final release, likely in April, that build number will get closer to an A at the end, representing the stability and completeness. There are actually a lot of changes here in Beta 2, which is saying something because Beta 1 included a ton. If you want a recap of what was new in iOS 18.4 Beta 1, check out the video that I've linked here or find it on the channel. From a high level, Apple Intelligence expands to more locales, new ambient music options are in Control Center, Apple News Plus food launches with step-by-step -step recipes and a recipe catalog, and much more. So pivoting to this update. Visual Intelligence officially has launched on iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max as expected. Visual Intelligence can be invoked using the action button since there is no camera control on these devices. Plus, Apple has added a dedicated Apple Intelligence and Siri section to Control Center. You can add shortcut commands for talking to Siri, typing to Siri, or launching Visual Intelligence. And since we have these controls, they can be tied to the action button or the lock screen, as well as here in Control Center. Prioritize notification that we first saw in Beta 1 has a new menu section inside of settings. You can toggle it on or off on an app by app basis. I've now had this enabled for the past week or so, and this has been one of my favorite new features by far. If you've tested this, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't tested it yet, Will you use this feature? My sponsor, ESR, has you covered, quite literally. They have all new cases for the latest iPhone 16e that give you easy access to the action button, support MagSafe, and exceed the military drop test standard by seven times. The ESR Halo Lock Cyber Tough Case is great, with a three-layer design that has a PC backing, a flexible TPE soft shell, and an inner poron lining. Most drops happen from hip level, or even at chest height. This has enough protection to withstand drops from literally 23 feet. The magnets are also ultra strong here, 1500 Gs, which makes it very secure when using a MagSafe desk or car charger. It's not going to fall off when you hit a bump. There's also a sleeker, clear-backed Model 2, which I personally like the look of more, but that's just me. The best part of their iPhone 16e gear is the upgraded screen protector. It includes the Ultra Fit tray applicator and is so easy to install. It even automatically removes the dust from your screen to prevent any air bubbles and easily resist scratches, like from the keys in your pocket. If you're getting or have an iPhone 16e already and you wanna check these out, there's links in the description. In the App Store, you can now pause your app install before you could tap on them to stop, but when you resume, it started over. Now it literally shows you a pause button and you can resume when you're ready. Just to note, while it is in progress, even if it's paused, you can't use that app until the update is done. There are seven new emoji to pick from, alongside Genmoji, of course. The new ones are fingerprint, tree without leaves, there's a face with bags under the eyes, a splatter, a harp, a shovel, and a generic root vegetable, which, which just looks like a beet. There's also a ton of new shortcuts available for Apple stock apps, like here in Safari and in Photos, which is clearly indicative of some of the next generation series capabilities. Finally, the Vision Pro app is on iPhone. This is a single app to help manage your Apple Vision Pro. You can find new content and queue it up on your headset. That includes different videos or new apps. It's pretty neat, though it still looks like features are being added, I hope. Like eventually, you'll be able to set up guest mode for your Apple Vision Pro 2 from your iPhone, and I think that's going to be really helpful. Speaking of Vision Pro, the new Spatial Gallery app is here on the Vision Pro with Vision OS, uh, the point four update. Spatial photos and videos are one of the killer features for this device, so it makes sense to see it. Jumping into it really quick, I saw curated content from Porsche, Arcteryx, Red Bull, 
Apple Music, Apple TV, and more. There are some like behind the scenes spatial videos on Severance featured right now, and I definitely wanna go watch those once we get through all of this. But that's it so far. That joins all the other features we talked about in the last beta. Let me know if you spot any other changes down below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.